This is a beautiful morning pump. Beauty, beautiful. As this is beauty in a bottle, you know that I said I wasn't gonna bore you guys and do one of these videos so soon. But I actually got a very, very good response from my last video and I had a bunch of people DMing me, asking me a bunch of questions. So I'm just gonna kinda do like an update and let you guys know how I actually got my milk supply back up. I'm six months postpartum, going on seven months. I'll be seven months in a week and a half. But you just saw that is my morning pump. It is 8.30 now. I started pumping at seven o'clock. I did my power pump and then I did some like pumping on and off just to see if I could get a little more. I'm still experimenting. I'm still trying to get as much milk as I possibly can. My morning pump for the last four or five days, I've been getting 12 ounces. I had one day out of the four that was a little bit short. It was about like 10 ounces I got and I was really worried because I'm like what's happening is my milk supply going back down but it was fine I don't really know what triggered that so guys just some things that I'm doing I started this little pump journey I was exclusively breastfeeding before this like I would pump here and there just if I had to go somewhere I was pumping in the beginning when I first had the baby I had a freezer storage I had that going for me and then I just ended up using the milk and then I got comfortable and I it just ended up being more convenient just to whip out the boob okay i wasn't thinking about you know my milk supply dropping at six months i wasn't thinking about any of that some things that i have been doing some tips are drinking your mother's milk tea i honestly don't even know if this is contributing to my milk supply but i drink it anyhow i enjoy tea i drink that three times a day one in the morning one in the afternoon one at night i have been drinking tons of water like i upped my water intake significantly i also am doing power pumps in the morning and at night oh i'm eating my oats every single morning so i have a cup of oats i add blueberries banana in there i add some cinnamon and maple syrup and then just some strawberries on the top just to kind of sweeten it up and make it a little more exciting that's basically all I'm doing and other than that I'm just pumping as much as I possibly can my exclusive pumping journey started about a week and a half ago I would say let's just say two weeks give or take what I was doing to just kind of get the ball rolling was pumping as much as I possibly could so I was pumping every two hours that is just what worked for me so when I say two hours it's like if I started my pump at 7 a.m. and I pumped for an hour so I ended at 8 I would pump again at 9 I was pumping every two hours from when I first put the pump on my boobs. And throughout the day, it's just every two hours, anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, I'd probably pump. Sometimes I would like stop, take a break, and then get to it again, just as much as possible. And guys, when I tell you that at the beginning of this, I was getting, like my morning pump was probably like three ounces total. Like I was getting three ounces total out of both my breasts in the beginning of this and then throughout the day i was getting like maybe like an ounce two ounces this is total like it was insane i was getting such little milk it was crazy after three days it's, i started seeing my milk supply go up a little bit so in the morning i started getting maybe five ounces total and then i was getting throughout the day i would get maybe like two and a half ounces three ounces maybe here two ounces there one ounce there i was hand expressing one ounce one and a half ounces by the fifth day that's when i really started to notice a difference i started pumping six to seven ounces in the morning throughout the day i would do two to four ounces at a time during the day at night that was like my lowest pump even now i don't really get much out of my breasts during my night pump and then by like day seven day eight day nine that's when i'm really starting to notice a difference so now i am getting 12 ounces in the morning i could definitely push for 14 on some days and then throughout the day i'm getting nothing under three ounces i'm actually getting to the point where i'm getting like four to five ounces during the day for each pump i'm pumping every three hours and then if i just like feel the need to pump or like feel like i want to pump just to see what i could get or just kind of trigger my boobs to say like you know my baby's hungry he's cluster feeding i'll do another pump i'm doing 30 to 45 minutes so this pump that i have is the mom cozy it actually stops pumping at 20 minutes so i do like two sets of those so i'll do like 40 minutes um obviously my power pumps in the morning and my power pump at night and then whatever in between pumps i decide to do like if i just want to do like a little 20 minute pump and then i'll also do my hand expressions i usually do like a hand expression at night because i don't 
get very much milk at night. So I'm talking like night, like 8 p.m., which is my last pump. So I'll do my hand expression. I usually get like one ounce. If I'm really like locked in, I'll get like one ounce, one and a half. If I really, really, really want to sit there for a long period of time, I could probably get like maximum two ounces. I could probably get X amount of ounces if I really put some work in, but by that time, I'm just like, I wanna go to bed, you know? So before my exclusive pumping journey, so like two weeks ago, my baby was waking up in the middle of the night. So he would wake up anywhere between 2.30 and 4 a.m. And he would cry and then I would just like go to him and I would just give him my boob. Like sometimes he wouldn't go back to sleep and he would like drink for like 10 minutes and then fall back asleep. I put him back in his crib and then he, and then he's fine. So that was kind of like the only middle of the night feed that I was doing. When I first started this pumping journey, I actually woke up at 3 a.m. and I would do a pump session. I would do like a 20 minute pump session. Now I'm not doing that and I wake up with very full breasts, which is great, but I'm not trying to do anything to sabotage what I have going on here. So comment down below and let me know if I need to do this middle of the night pump because I'm really not sure if it's gonna have any effect on my daytime pumping or my morning pumps. When I was doing it at the beginning, I would pump at like 3.30 a.m. and I wouldn't get that much. Like I would probably get like three ounces. And then in the morning, I really wouldn't get that much because I had just pumped at 3.30. My breasts weren't like super duper full like they're getting now. I read somewhere and I actually watched a video about it that during the hours of 1 a.m. and 4 a.m., that is when you produce the most milk. But I'm not sure how true that is. I don't really want to have to wake up at 3.30 in the morning. Now that my baby's sleeping through the night, I'm just all zened out. It's amazing because I'm finally sleeping for the first time in seven months. I don't want to do anything to actually sabotage that either. Just let me know, comment down below. But just to recap everything, I'm on week two of exclusively pumping. Between 6.30 and 7.30 is when I'll wake up, I, just depending on the baby. I like when he sleeps in, obviously. We just kind of got on this like schedule, so every Everything's running smoothly right now. I'll do my morning pump, I'll do my power pump, and then from then on, I'm pumping every three hours for about, I would say, anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes. Sometimes I'll go an hour. The more you pump, the better. Anywhere between 8 p.m. and 9.30 p.m., I'm doing my last pump, that's my power pump, and then I'll do like some hand expressions. I'm doing nothing in the middle of the night and then I'm waking up and I'm repeating. Exact same thing. This is what's working for me right now. Let me know, comment down below if I should add that 3 a.m. pump in because I guess I will do what I have to do to keep this milk supply going. I wanna try to keep this as going as long as possible. I'm strictly pumping at this point. Now, at this point, even with him, I got him on a really good schedule. I figured out how much milk he actually needs so he's not under eating and like waking up throughout the night. Now he's just sleeping straight through the night. Like he'll wake up a little bit and maybe like look for a soother or something like that. But other than that, he's out. So he's sleeping now anywhere between like 10 and 12 hours, which he's supposed to be sleeping. And then he'll have his first bottle at 7 a.m. and then 11 a.m. 3 p.m. and then 7 p.m. His 7 p.m. bottle, because he's eating solids, he doesn't always need it. So majority of the time, like 70% of the time, he won't have his nighttime bottle because he has such a big dinner. Also, he's having breakfast, lunch, snack, and then his big dinner. And he sleeps through the night just fine. Sometimes if he's like a little more fussy, you'll know if he's hungry because he'll start like searching for my breast, sucking on my shoulder, things like that, giving me hickeys, you know, those types of things. That's pretty much it. If you're trying to increase your milk supply, I would say just be patient. It takes time. Not everybody is the same. Everybody's pumping journey is different. Everybody's milk supply is different. So for me, it took about three to five days to really get my flow going again. This is just my experience and what has worked for me. I honestly don't know if all these other like little gimmicky things work like the tea and the oats and stuff like that. I'm sure it has like factual facts behind it. But I think that the main thing is just pumping as much as possible to kind of trigger your breasts like the baby's hungry, the baby needs to eat. Again, I am using this breast pump. It is the Mom Cozy. I had originally bought the Medela Freestyle Flex, which was great. I was using it at the beginning. I got lots of milk. It was a great pump, but you have to like carry around this like little, the actual pump itself. You have to kind of carry it around. It's definitely not as seamless and easy to use as uh, the Mom Cozy. I know that this is not like a hospital grade pump but it works amazing i love it honestly it changed my life 
changed my pumping life. I know like the LV is in the States, you can get, and then there's a couple other ones. I know that you can get the Willow. I've never tried them, but this is one that I had access to in Canada, and it's actually very, very affordable. You can buy them as a pair, you can buy it just one. I bought the pair, and I think it was like, I don't even know how much it was, I'm not even gonna go there. I hope this is helpful to you guys. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. I'm an open book. I am willing to answer any questions that you do have. If you have any advice for me, comment down below and let me know. I'm still going to do another update. I know this isn't everybody's, you know, vibe, but I will be doing another update in a couple weeks, which will bring me to one month of exclusively pumping. We're kind of just going to see where I'm at. And if my flow is still flowing. I will see you guys in another video. Peace and love.